hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the brand channel where i get solutions to all the solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to search for locations using qgis directly right good so if you come to this status bar and then you click on the empty space there you are going to see different tools right good so first of all we are going to search for a particular location federal school of surveying that's my alma mater so if you copy that and then you come to this um, bar you know there are different tools you can use here since we are trying to search for a location we have um, this nomination jokoda right good so it helps you to search for a location so we double click that and then we add that um, is it less than icon to the status bar and then we paste whatever location we are trying to copy right good we are trying to navigate to so you can see it in full for us clubs of in library road or your east west road um, or your east or your um state nigeria right good now before we do that let's see if we can come in with a base map so we go to layer then we go to data source manager then on that browser we can bring in the open street map and then we close it so the open street map is up so let's see when we click on this it will navigate us to federal school of surveying or your right good so you can use any other base map maybe if you have the quick map services plugin you can bring in a um, google library and then you can also see the location within google library right good now we are going to continue with our osm you now see that it is there so there is usually a red dot indicating the location you are navigating to right good so now we have used this um should i say the name of the location to search for it now we have some coordinates here which we want to use but you know most times in gis the difference in gis and CAD, one of the major difference is the use of the coordinate reference system which is very very important now as we have brought in this base map we can click on this current crs indicator and then we would see the crs that we are currently working on right good so if you do that you are going to see that we are working on the pseudo mercator wgs 1984 the pseudo mercator right good now this is very important to note let's come back to the coordinates first of all we have coordinates that are in eastern and northern and then they are in a particular location right good so let's copy the coordinate in this order eastern comma nothings and then we come back to our search um, the status bar and then this time around we are trying to go to a coordinate right good so you can just decide to double click on that and then you paste the coordinate so it's asking you are you going to this coordinate in this particular crs if you click on that it will navigate you to that location however this is not the location of interest now the reason why it has navigated us to a wrong location is because of what the crs so it's very important to know that in as much as you can search for a location using the name or the coordinate you also need to understand that the crs is very important now these coordinates that we have copied they are actually in wgs 84 utm zone 32 so what we are going to do is that we are going to change the project properties the crs of the project from this pseudo mercator to wgs 84 utm zone 32 right good so it now means that the project crs will be changed to this and then we apply and we click on ok now when we have done that let's come back to the status bar and then try to navigate to that location again now you've seen it that it has taken us to the right location which is somewhere in um, river state university right good so the location is currently open on a um, google Earth. you can see it this is the location and then the coordinates here are displayed in degree minutes and seconds so you can see that it had navigated us to where it is supposed to be because we had selected what the correct crs right good so we come back again this is for eastern and northern so let's say you have your latitude and longitude right good and then they are in decimal degrees so we have it this way we still highlight it we copy and then we come back here and then we paste 
right so when this comes up it's giving us two options are we going to use a geographic system which is obj 64 or we are going to use a projected and you know that the coordinate we just copied is latitude and longitude which means it's a geographic system right good so we go with the first option and then when we go with the first option you now see that the red icon is still highlighted where it is supposed to be right good so this is a form of calibration to know that the coordinates here which is in a Eastern and Northings, a projected system, and this coordinate, which is in latitude and longitude, the geographic system, has actually been navigated to the same location. Right, good. Now, before we leave, let's also use your coordinates that are represented in degree, minute, and seconds. Now, most times when you are trying to impute your coordinates in degree, minute, and seconds on QGIS, you don't um, include the degree, minute, second. You use space to indicate it, right? Good. So we have copied it. This format is actually latitude, comma, longitude. And then this other format is longitude, comma, latitude, right? Good. When you are using degree, minute, and seconds. So now let's see what will happen. We still come back here. We have our go and then we paste good so it's asking us are we going to this particular location in this system yes you see now it has taken us far which means that the implication of what we have just seen is that when you are trying to use the coordinates in degree minute and seconds not decimal degrees you don't write it or you don't present it in latitude comma longitude because you now see that as we have it in latitude comma longitude it has navigated us to somewhere else now let's come back again to copy our coordinates in longitude comma latitude when it is in degree minute and seconds right so we come back here we have our go and then we paste still the same system it's asking us are we going there you now see that it has taken us back to where we are supposed to be. So, as we said earlier, this is a form of calibration for you to know. Because when you understand, you know, you can have your coordinates in different formats. You can have it in a projected system. You can have it in a geographic system. And then using the geographic system, it can be in decimal degrees or maybe degree minutes and seconds. So, if it's in degree minutes and seconds, you go with longitude, comma, latitude. And then if it's in decimal degrees, you go with what latitude, comma, longitude, right? Good. And then when you paste it there, it will navigate you to your location of interest. You can also go with what the name of the location, just like we have Federal School of Surveying. However, you are going to include what the less than sign, which takes you or which uses what the nominating jokoda right good that navigates you to that location so we believe that today we have used them um, qgs to show you how you can um, navigate to locations of interest or maybe of choice using the names the coordinates in eastern and northern that's projected the coordinates in latitude and longitude in decimal degrees and also in what in degree minute and seconds so we are going to see you on the next tutorial if you find this video helpful you can encourage us by subscribing sharing with your friends commenting and then we'll see you on the next one have a fantastic time bye